It's been said that you know we had learned uh, many lessons from SARS, and during that time you were the director of medical services. Could you uh, maybe elaborate a little bit more on what sort of lessons uh, we put in place? I think there were many main lessons that uh, we learned from SARS, which have been beneficial to us. I would uh, say that perhaps the most important one is we now have in Singapore uh, many individuals uh, who are administrative leaders, clinicians, nurses, professionals, um, frontline workers, uh, administrators who have uh, had experience of uh, dealing with an ep epidemic, who have the confidence and the knowledge of what to do. And uh, because of that, uh, they have also less concerns about uh, getting infected themselves, greater confidence in the protective equipment, and therefore somewhat less anxiety. So I would say that uh, amongst all the different things that uh, came out of SARS, I think that is probably the most valuable one. Of course, we did also build many new systems. Uh, we developed uh, research, contact tracing capabilities, uh, but all those things uh, were uh, actually support a uh, human resource that uh, is uh, very uh, experienced with dealing with epidemics. Now, um, SARS was um, very difficult because uh, we did not have a diagnostic test until more than after a month. And uh, this made it very, very difficult to identify cases, made it extremely difficult to uh, quarantine people to uh, conduct public health operations. Uh, and SARS was uh, a more severe disease. Uh, it uh, mainly amplified within healthcare settings, meaning that uh, it spread uh, typically amongst healthcare workers and then from healthcare workers and patients to other health facilities. And uh, that was one of the reasons why um, it uh, created a lot of uh, concerns among healthcare workers. Um, but having said that, um, because uh, it was largely amplified through hospitals, once we were able to get uh, infection control uh, really stringently up in the hospitals, once we are able to curtail the movement of uh, patients and healthcare workers, and uh, we're able to quarantine people very quickly, uh, the outbreak actually was uh, quite quickly contained. I think COVID is uh, very different because uh, SARS was a hospital type of infection. COVID is a community type of infection. And uh, it has a number of characteristics that make it actually much harder to control. Uh, spread occurs very early on in the course of disease. Uh, it spreads in the community. It spreads through widespread contact between uh, individuals who are circulating around. And therefore, uh, unlike hospitals and healthcare facilities where you're able to uh, uh, bring public health measures uh, to bear in a very concerted manner, uh, this is a much more diffuse problem. And uh, as, you, as you know, we've had to do many things that we, had, we didn't have to do in SARS, such as uh, social distancing uh, and uh, restriction of interactions as part of the containment efforts.